Hi everyone. So um, today I am being joined by the incredible Professor Nick Ward. Um, Nick, would you like to introduce yourself? So I am a professor of clinical neurology and neuro rehabilitation at Queen Square in London. Amazing. A a a brilliant title to fit a brilliant man. Um, and I think what we're largely here to talk about is well brain injury so let's begin there let's talk about um from from you from the person who knows better than most what is a brain injury because i know what my experience was um and i know i i don't have a particularly scientific way of explaining it so if you'd like to take us away so brain injury is uh caused by obviously injury to the brain but it the, the two commonest causes are probably stroke and traumatic brain injury or TBI. So stroke is caused by interruption of blood flow to a part of the brain which results in death of a number of cells. And traumatic brain injury is caused by a blow to the head which usually comes about uh, in a road traffic accident uh, or a fall or sometimes assault, for example. So the key thing is that in both, uh, in both circumstances there is damage to a part of the brain and the symptoms are quite wide and varied, uh, which is, I think is one of the things that uh, confuses uh, people. If you think of the brain as a, as a wiring diagram, then the symptoms that somebody experiences are essentially gonna depend on which wires are broken and which junction boxes are, are, are pulled out. So mm -hmm. people will typically suffer from problems with movement, so often weakness down one side, problems with communicating, either being able to express themselves or or understanding others, uh, but also problems with thinking, so attention, concentration, mood, uh, anxiety, and fatigue. And we and we can we can think about those sets of symptoms as kind of symptoms that you can obviously see. So typically inability to move or poor communication. But it, there's another whole area of symptomatology. So problems with thinking skills, uh, attention, concentration, mood, and fatigue, which we we think of as invisible and I think that's one of the problems that we have in brain injury that, that people will suffer from uh, combinations of these so you don't just get a problem with movement you could have a problem with movement but a problem with mood and fatigue at the same time and it's important that we think about all of those when we decide how best to treat patients.